Hello everyone and welcome to the letters B. My name is Bobby and today I'm going to show you how to create this epic looking screen pump effect. As you can see we already imported our video and audio footage. I chose to use a gaming clip for the effect preview but you can use any kind of footage you want. After that we're going to set markers for our audio so we know exactly when the screen pumps need to start. To do so simply listen to your audio footage and add a marker by hitting M on your keyboard at either a high note or a beat drop. This specific step needs practice, so don't worry about having a hard time at the beginning. As the last little tip, I would suggest to scroll up so you will see the differences in the audio file a little bit more clear. Then we're going to open up the pan and crop window of our video footage and start creating our screen pumps. Make sure that the options lock aspect ratio, size about center as well as synth cursor are enabled. Then we're going to move to the frame right before the first audio marker. Set a keyframe by clicking on the little plus icon at the bottom of the timeline. Then go one frame forward using the arrow keys and change the width value to 1870. This will automatically create a second keyframe as well as our first screen pump. I'm using a pretty low amount of cropping because if you decide to use too much of it, it won't look very smooth. So keep in mind that sometimes less is more. Then we're gonna go to the frame right before the second audio marker and reset the width value. To do so, simply right click into the cropping window and select the option restore. After that, you're gonna repeat the process until you finish all remaining screen pump positions. At the end, you can let the last screen pump fade out after about 20 frames. Now as you could see this technique works perfect while using a full clip but some people might ask how do I do the screen pumps when my video is cut into little pieces. Basically it works just the same with one little exception. Select the clip piece that you want to have a screen pump effect on it, open up the pan and crop window and make sure you're at the very left of the timeline. Here you're going to change the width value to 1870 then move to the end of the timeline and reset the width value back to default. You're going to repeat the process and will have the exact same result as with the other method. And this is it, a very awesome effect that can be especially useful for gaming montages as well as music videos. Now as a little tip I would suggest to combine this effect with the light up effect I showcased in my previous tutorial to create an even more amazing video. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you want to support the channel be sure to subscribe, like and comment so I can actually see that I could help you. Also if you want awesome videos like this one more frequently be sure to check out my Patreon page by clicking on the annotation at the end of the video or the link in the video description. 